Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Happy birthday to you. All right, okay. Um... Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. It's been a challenging few years, for sure, but I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. <sighs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here? I'm the Messiah. I am. Marvel Jesus. Walk with me. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. All right, I'm calling it right now. Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be not only the best movie of this year, but quite possibly the best Marvel movie ever made. Shit, I would even go as far as saying it's going to be the best movie of this decade so far, and here's why. I think I can speak for most of us when I say that we already knew the TVA was going to be involved somehow. But what I didn't think was going to happen was that they were going to take him all the way back to Age of Ultron. So now we have the potential to see an entirely different outcome for Civil War, Infinity War, and Endgame. And with Marvel Studios finally bringing the X-Men into the MCU, this movie could lead to a Civil War that's actually about the mutant registration. Like, all we have is a two and a half minute trailer, and this movie is already at, like, end game level expectations. But the difference is, this isn't ending an entire saga, this is basically starting a new one. I mean, yeah, the multiverse saga's been going on for the last couple of years, but let's be honest, it's been all over the place, and there's a lot of loose ends that this movie has potential to tie up very nicely. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content like this, and see you next time. Until then, stay safe.